Hi everyone, it's Sean Kennedy here from the YouTube channel Java SE Certification Training. In this video I'd like to look at the Enthware question 2.1264 from their OCA question bank for Java 8. And this is an array list question. So let's go through this. Here we're creating a list referring to an array list object. S1 dot add passing in A. Okay, so remember that lists maintain an order and they allow duplicates. So A is added in, then B is added in afterwards, then C is added in in position 1. So array lists start at index 0. So A, C, B is the resultant array list at this point. So then we come along and we create a new array list by passing in the return of s1.sublist passing in 1 and 1 as the from and to indices. This is very similar to the substring in the string class. So the first index is inclusive and the second index is exclusive. So we're going to be starting at index 1 and we're going to be taking 1 minus 1 strings from that which is basically 0. We end up with the empty list. So let's have a look at that on the API. Here it is, the sublist. It returns a view of the portion of this list between the specified from index, which is inclusive, and the to index, which is exclusive. If from index and to index are equal, the returned list is empty. So that's what we have in this question, and we end up with the empty list. Then we go along and we call the add all, which basically appends what's inside the round brackets to the end of the list on which the method is called. So that's the empty list been appended on to the list S1, which is ACB. So you end up with ACB still. So the answer is ACB. If we evaluate that, that is the correct answer. Now there is just something I would like to show you in uh, NetBeans with regard to the sublist. So if I go back here just for a second, this is what I want to talk about. The returned list is backed by the list. So non-structural changes in the returned list are reflected in this list and vice versa. So what does that mean? Well, let's take an example here. I'm creating an array list. And I'm adding in A, B, and C. I'm typing it for string only. From the API, the returned list is backed by this list. That means changes made affect both lists. So I'm doing s1.sublist, and it's going to give me back another list, s2. But I'm going from 0, start at the start, and take 3 minus 0 elements. So that will give me A, B, and C, give me the whole list. Then I go and I add D onto S2. That writes through, i.e. both lists are affected. So when I output S1 and then S2, D is added on to the two of them. So that's what it means by it's backed and changes right through. So if I run that, we'll see that a, B, C, and D is the answer to the two of them. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, please click like. For further content, please subscribe. Any comments, please leave them below. Thanks very much.